There is definitely something going on behind the scenes, guys. The ripples are starting to work again, but why so many? There's some interesting news out there, guys, and I think things will only get faster from here on out. Uh, on Wednesday, the signal guys will decide what will happen next in the market. So what's going on with the stock market and the cryptocurrency market? I think we really pump right. I'm all for it. All for it. All of my cash is in right. I'm all for it. I don't have much money. Guys, blow off top isn't over yet because everything bubble will keep growing, right? Guys, this image shows the market cap to GDP. Guys, this number was around 105% in 1929. 138% in 2000, 105% in 2007. And now we're at 178%, guys. Things are getting out of hand. But I still think you guys should go higher. Why? The chart says that, right? So far, things look pretty good now. How do we know for sure that Wednesday will be the day of the fight? We'll know for sure what happens next. I hope they're delvish, which means they think the stock market and Bitcoin markets will go up. This could be a sign of things to come in the months or the news on Wednesday. This three sign tells us that the season has already started for all coins. That's why I think Ripple is coming out of the basement with news story after news story after news story after news story, right? Gary Garninghouse, Brian Davis has work to do and is being interviewed. Guys, these things don't happen in bear markets. They work behind the scenes, but now things are starting to show up out of nowhere, guys. That's why the second half of this video is so important. First, it's all about having more people. We need to start the show, because look at this chart. This indicator turns green every time it falls below this line, this cutoff right here. Guys, this is where it turned green last time. Then we put everything together for two months. I think it turned green last month, too. So, guys, the next two months are going to be blast off time. This month is consolidation, and next month will probably be the same. Could it be shorter? Yes, most of the time it charts Ryan, guys. It's never 100%. Never 100% comes after a circle, right? Still, this sign tells us that we are green right now, right? See what went wrong the last time. Yes, and I believe there will soon be an explosion like this, guys. And that's when the dark area on this chart will show up. Don't worry, guys, because this chart only shows what you can see, right? It's been stable above this support line. It wouldn't be good right now if we broke below it. But for now, guys, we're not going below it. That's a good sign because it means we're trying this resistance again and it's now turning into support. Okay, this is the next move, guys. Yes, things can change so quickly. Yes, we're talking about the next one like this summer, guys. Uh, this is what I mean. Look at how quickly things can change right now. Guys, we're not even close to being in an old coin bull run. This is why I take a look at this picture, okay? This is Bitcoin VS. Others every day. We must be in the lowest range, right? Take a look at that. When the bomb goes off in this war, it's time to go, right? This could go this way, right? That means Bitcoin will soon reach 100,000, right? It's in the coming weeks. Then they lie to everyone, right? After that, they pump it. They sell a lot of altcoins. It seems like a lot of people on social media are saying that altcoins are dead and other crazy things. There's no way you could think of that story or believe that story when the charts are telling you something else, right? Also, guys, because all coins have reached their highest point exactly 546 days after a halving in both of the previous rounds. This trend said that the all coin peak would happen on October 25th. Let's take a look at that. We still have a long way to go. What I think will happen here is like this, guys. Some crazy high and then we'll go back down, but then we'll go even higher until 206, guys. I don't know, go through the roof at that point, right? The same thing happened here, guys. Take a look at that end right negative divergence. I'm excited because I think it will form. I really am now. Look at this. This chart shows us how strong are some altcoins that have been bought too much. There is only one altcoin in the bullish area right now, and that is SPNX. Oh, I don't know that coin. These coins right here are strong. These coins here are neutral. And then these coins are weak. There's XRP right there. What makes XRP weak? It seems like XRP should be right here, right? That's where it should be, guys. It should be way too low, so I don't know how it's weak. But that means there's only one way, right? At some point, it will make its way up here to overvalued. That's just what I think. Okay, guys, this is why. I am not sure. Guys, I really feel it. Really, guys, we don't even need to look at red alerts or anything, right? Take a look at the charts. They show the news, right? This map says soon there will be some kind of what guys right? When news comes out, price movement should do this, right? What has happened every time you've been to this area, right? Take a look at this two, three months, one, two months right here, one, two. That's about two to three months, guys. We stay here in this area. That means we might not explode this month, but maybe next month, right? Or maybe we will this month. You guys don't know for sure, but this range. I'm not going to sell XRP. I'm going to buy it especially if you already own Bitcoin. This is XRP for spit quick, guys. And if it does this, that's outperforming Bitcoin to the highest degree right now. Something is definitely brewing because Ripple has been activated. Uh, check this out. They say, we are proud to share that Ripple is featured in the Fortune Best Workplaces in the Bay Area list for 2024. And look at this, Ripple Labs is number 17 on the Fortune Best Workplaces in the Bay Area for 2024 for small and medium-sized businesses. Wait, what? I thought it was XLM shining for a second. I'm not sure. But I don't think their name is Stellar Solutions. Then these are all big businesses, guys. Okay, take a look. Not only is this very pretty, but it just came out. 
I'm very excited to finally show the extra P ledger in Korean fund guys as part of the Ripple 1 billion extra P pledge. Over time, this fund will give out tens of millions of dollars in business partnerships, developer grants. A lot of money should be put into the area that already has the extra P ledger innovation, right? This is a good way to use trust. We are excited to announce the launch of the XRP Ledger Japan and Korea fund by RippleX. What this fund will help with innovation and use of the XRP ledger in the APAC area. There you have it. You have it. Yes, and we know you guys over there in Asia. XRP is what they love the most. What was it? Was it the Korean guys? I think South Korea, they pushed up the price of XRP in the 20s at the end of its life cycle. I think it was Korea that did that, to be correct, South Korea, that's because they love XRP there. And if I'm not mistaken, Brad Garninghouse is also going to an event there in early September. This is, again, big news, guys. This doesn't mean that this doesn't happen during a bear market. Okay, I'm really happy about this because it will lead to more innovation in the XRP ledger. Check it out. Okay, so this has made a lot of people very happy. The XRP, the Japan and Korea Fund will support a number of strong initiatives to encourage innovation on the XRP ledger in both countries. Uh, these include corporate partnerships which work with top companies in Japan and Korea to integrate the use of the XRP ledger and look into enterprise use cases across a wide range of industries developer grants uh, which give money and technical and business support to promising projects being developed on the XRP ledger and startup investments, find and put money into early stage businesses that are using the XRP ledger to create new and interesting uses. Community growth help local events like hackathons and educational programs get more people involved and the XRP ledger groups to grow, guys. And the XRP Ledger Japan and Korea Fund is part of the waves of Ripple's 1 billion XRP promise to help developers build on the XRP Ledger with money, technical support, and business advice. That's important. I find it so strange that this is coming out now. Yes, I think something is about to blow the lid off, guys. Would you say it sounds like a volcano erupting, looking for a spark of some kind to wake it up? Yes, hold on a second. This tells me that Rita will be heavily contributing to the XRP system. Yes then they bought XRP, XRP ledger tokens and other things. Guys, the crazy stuff isn't over yet. Launching this fund shows that Ripple really believes that Japan and Korea can become important places for blockchain innovation, right? It also shows that we are still fully committed to encouraging new ideas in our local XRP ledger groups. We're also excited to see how this fund changes things in these thriving areas. Guys, take a look at that. Without a doubt, this is big. Wow, check this out. The XRP system will be used to give out official Expo NFTs to millions of people who attend the World Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan next year. Take a moment to think about it, guys. I'm letting the timeline out. This is where it says 2025. Let's just say that we're here, guys. This is us now. Guys, what if we go somewhere like this? Guys, that's it for 2025. In the year 2025, right? Are we going to be in a bear market in 2025? No since they wouldn't be giving out these NFTs, right? If they were, they would be dead by 2025. By that time next year, we should be up here somewhere, right? In that case, this is definitely interesting. Key executives from Ripple will be attending and speaking at big industry events in August and September to show how committed the company is to these markets. Uh, okay, guys, take a look. Like WebEx Asia and Blockchain Week in Japan and Korea, right? In a downward market, this doesn't happen.